I'm here on the Isle of Mull, which is in the Inner Hebrides of Scotland. And as you can see out the window, we've got some pretty spectacular views. And today I'm going to be reviewing this Fujifilm X-E1. Not, not like a normal gear review, I'm not really into those. Much more, I'm gonna be taking you on a journey as I'm photographing this place. And I'm gonna be showing you how this camera just works for me. It's just got something about it which it just can't really, well, I'm gonna show you. You know, it's hard to explain to people why I would rather use a 300 pounds camera than my expensive cameras that are in the motorhome. But it's just beautiful. The quality of image, the filmic look to them, something really special. So I've just been in New York and I've been using this Fujifilm X-E1 to really, I wanted to really see what it was like in those conditions. Street photography, it's a rangefinder camera, it, you know, it was really designed for that kind of thing. And it just was incredible, like the texture, the, the, the amazing atmosphere on the images I was so, so happy with. Um, but now I brought it somewhere where I feel like it's a little bit of a fish out of water because you know, you expect a rangefinder camera to be good for street photography. It's small, it's compact. You know, the, this old type sensor is brilliant for that. Um, but bringing it here, I would normally be using, you know, big medium format cameras and shooting really high resolution images, whether on film or um, on digital. And this is like neither. You know, this is low resolution comparatively um, and not film, but again, it just seems to produce beautiful images. And, you know, I'm capturing all this beauty around me and I'm just finding that it's um, producing this beautiful film-like texture. I remember when I used to shoot the Canon EOS film camera and I used to load Kodak Gold, Kodak Ektar into it. And, you know, this is getting that type of feel to the image. The way that I've set up the camera is to shoot directly to the black and white JPEG with the yellow filter. And that's like my standard world view. So I'm literally, the EVFs, black and white, everything is through that, that um, black and white filter. So then, you know, I can shoot everything and I can see what I'm doing as a black and white image directly through the EVF. And I love that. It's almost like I've got a monochrome camera. But just in case there's a bit of color that I really want, Sometimes, you know, the image just needs that bit of color. I'm, I've got the raw file option on there as well. So I'm shooting to JPEG and raw file to give me those, those options. So if you are on a budget and you haven't got, you know, hundreds and hundreds or thousands to spend on your camera, but you're wanting something to give you really beautiful images, then I don't really see how you can go wrong with any of the early X-Trans 1 and X-Trans 2 Fujifilm cameras. You know, as I've re-bought this again and I've been, you know, using it with one mind thinking about how I'm going to review it, it has just struck me again and again what incredible value for money these cameras were and now really are, you know. They're only a few hundred pounds, I think it was 300 pounds I paid for it and you've got to buy a lens, but it's only a very cheap manual focus vintage style lens. So. You can get everything, you know, for under 400 pounds. And that's actually a really, really good value because it is giving more joy, I would say, than my professional grade cameras. You know, this is giving me far more joy and yet it's giving me images that I can print nice, nice and big. So absolutely wonderful camera. You know, I'd say any of those early cameras from Fujifilm are gonna give you incredible, incredible joy and are, amazing amazing value for your for your budget i want to say a really big thank you to rohan for sponsoring this video supplying me with all the gear that i'm wearing in these videos whilst i'm here on the isle of mull and 
You know, I've been using Rohan gear for a long time. I've been one of their customers for years because I remember the first time I was, um, found one of their shops when I was in York and I was getting soaking wet in the winter. I ran into one of their shops, bought myself a down jacket and it's just kept me warm for years. And since then, I really relied on their gear for all of my outdoor photography. And so thank you to them for supplying these for me because it makes a big difference when I'm in these conditions. And as this rain comes in, I know this is gonna keep me utterly, completely dry. Both these trousers and this jacket are perfect for that. So thank you, Rohan. comes to reviewing these cameras, particularly with the earlier Fujifilm cameras, you're getting a lot of camera for your money. I mean, I think all their cameras are great, but these earlier ones, you're getting a lot for your money because this XE1 and the you know other cameras with this type of sensor, they carry that amazing fusion of digital and film that's kind of fused together so the image carries that kind of quality. And I think really my review is summed up in that understanding of what you're getting. You're not getting this clinical image, you're getting this more textured image with atmosphere in it. And I think that that's the selling point of these cameras. Really for my review, that's what I would say is the biggest bonus. And then with that, obviously you've got a great little setup with good menu systems and you know, they're really useful little things. They're very small, handheld with the APS-C sensor. 16 megapixels, so it's not too big. It's good file sizes for your uh, computer. So on all those fronts as well, it does a great job. But I think the reason for it is that type of image that you're getting. And, you know, along with the film simulations, I've just found it to be a really, really great option for me in my setup. So. I think I'll be buying a few more like this. Gonna build myself up a whole nother collection of Fujifilm cameras. <laughs> what a perfect way to finish this day and really finish this review of this Fujifilm X-E1. You know, the sky tonight was full of texture, full of atmosphere, full of absolutely beautiful colour. And this camera really performed well. You know, I said that earlier that I was taking this camera a little bit like a fish out of water into a, a setting that it wasn't really made for, but actually it just passed it once again with flying colours and has given me another type of image. You know, on the Panasonic Lumix, I took some really high resolution shots of that sunset and they look beautiful but there's just something different about the texture of the images that um, appear on on this Fujifilm camera and I think that's really what it's about when it comes to uh, working out whether to buy it or not you know for me it's like another another tool in the box and it's the one that really gives me that real filmic look so I can really really recommend this little camera um, because it's done a great job for me.